Hello guys, welcome back to the 7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering video. Today our lecture is about to find the shear force and bending moment diagram of this simply supported beam with a uniformly distributed load of 3 km per meter acting over a distance of 6 meter. And this load is acting in the middle of this beam. So to find the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram, first we have to find the support reactions of this beam. So there is a hinge support so it can resist the vertical load R A. There is a roller support so it can also resist the vertical load and this support reaction is represented as R B. So to find out the support reactions, let's suppose the summation of moment is at a point A is equal to 0. And I consider this clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise is taken as negative. So this load 3 km per meter is acting along the at point A in the clockwise direction so it will be positive and to find out the to change this uniformly distributed load into point load so I will multiply 3 with the 6 3 into 6 this I change the uniformly distributed load into concentrated load which will be acting at the center of this 6 meter length so it means it's 3 meter from here and 2 meter from here so the total moment arm for this load will be 2 plus 3 it is 5 so the moment arm for this load is 5 to this point A multiplying it to the 5 first we convert this uniformly distributed load into concentrated load so 3 multiply 6 and then multiply with the moment arm because we are taking summation of moment at point A is equal to 0 so we multiply with the moment arm which is 5 meter and then this load is acting in the opposite direction to this load to this K1 load so RB is acting in the opposite, opposite direction which is anti-clockwise direction. So it will be taken as negative RB multiplying the moment arm is this distance. Is this whole distance to the point A from the point B to point A it is 10 meter 2 plus 6 plus 2 it is 10 meter. And summation of moment at point A is equal to 0. So now multiplying these two values it gives us 90 and shifting this value to the right side rb into 10 so it will be rb is equal to 90 divided by 10 9 kilonewton so this support reaction is 9 kilonewton as we see here that this load in uniformly distributed load acting at the middle of the beam so of course this will be divided into two support reactions the half will be taken by this support and half will be taken by this support so rb should be equal to ra so let's try to find out the RA. To find the RA, I take the summation of vertical forces equal to 0. So all the vertical forces are equal to 0. So the vertical forces is RA plus RB which are acting in the upper direction. You see here, upper direction and upper direction. And this load which is 3 km per meter is acting in the downward direction. So it will be equal to the, in the downward direction. So I take it as negative minus 3 multiplied by 6 because it is distributed over a length of 6 meter and the, all the summation of force is equal to 0 so RA will be equal to the 18 and this shifting onto the right side we get minus 9 because RP is 9 so RA comes out to be 9 kN similarly RA here is 9 kN so both the support reactions have the same magnitude. This is because the load is acting at the mid of this beam. So the half load will be taken by RA and half load will be taken by RB. So total load is 18 because 3 into 6 18 is acting downward and the support reaction is R is 9, RB is also 9. Now after finding the support reaction, we can find, we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. Now after getting the support reactions RA and RB, we can easily draw the bending moment and shear force diagrams. So drawing the reference lines for the shear force and drawing the reference line for the bending moment. So these are the important lines for the shear force and bending moment. Shear force in kilonewton and bending moment in kilonewton meter so now to start with the shear force as we know that these are the reference lines so it will be 0 0 
and beneath moment it will be zero zero. So now the R A is acting nine kilonewton in magnitude is acting in upper direction. So I can bring it nine upward because it is positive. So it will be nine in upper direction. This is nine kilonewton. Now there is no load over the two meter, so this will be a straight line. Again, there is a load of uniformly distributed load which is acting in downward direction on the beam. This one is upward, so I may draw it 9 kN in upward direction. There was no load, so it become a straight line. Then this load is acting in downward direction, so it is 3 multiplying with 6 which is 18 kN. So this uniformly distributed load I convert into a concentrated load which is 3 multiplying with 6, so this total magnitude is 18 kN is acting in downward direction and will bring this positive shear force into negative direction because this is acting downward and this is high in magnitude because 18 is higher than 9 so 9 is positive and minus 18 is acting downward so it is minus 9 so it means here it will bring it in negative direction up to minus 9 and then again there is no load here acting at this 2 meter distance so no load becomes it means a straight line and then we have a 9 kN which is same as the support frictions B. So this means that our shear force diagram was right. So close this shear force diagram. So this we get the shear force diagram for this B. Now to draw the bending moment diagram, we should get help from the shear force diagram. To calculate the area of each box of the shear force diagram, we can calculate, we can draw the bending moment diagram. So this box, this box, this box, and this box. So there are four boxes in this diagram. The first box is the length of 2 meter. You see here this is 2 meter. The second box is the length of this is 6 meter and it is equally divided. So it is 3 meter here and 3 meter here. So this will become 3 meter and this will also become 3 meter. And again this box is 2 meter. So we got the length and the height of the boxes. We can find the area of this rectangles and triangle to draw the bending moment diagram. So starting from here which is the reference line. So as we know that these both supports are hinge and roll support so they cannot resist any moment so these values are these values are zero. If there is a fixed support so it can resist moment and then there will be some value of the moment. But here there are hinge and roll support so both values are zero here. Now to start with this rectangle first we have to find the area of this rectangle. The height of this rectangle is 9 and the length is 2 meter. So 9 into 2 comes out to be 18. So 18 is the here is the bending moment diagram and this value is in kilonewton meter is represented here. And this value and this line should be our 1 degree line here because the shear force was 0 degree line. So bending moment diagram should always be 1 degree higher than the shear force. It was 0 degree line, so this will be 1 degree line. It means a linear line. Now, this rectangle, this is a triangle. So, the area of triangle is the height is 9. Again, this height is 9. And this width is, this length is 3. So, half is area of triangle is 9. Multiplying with the width, which is 3. So, this comes out to be 13.5. So now this is also acting positive above the reference line. This is a reference line and this triangle is acting above the reference line. So it is again positive. So 13.5 adding with this 18 value which I got here. So adding 13.5 with 18, I got 31.5. So again, it will be somewhere here at this point. It will be 31.5. 31.5 and now this curve is a 2 degree line because here shear force is 1 degree line. The shear force is always 1 degree less than the minimum moment degree line. So this degree line will be a 2 degree line and the magnitude of the bending moment I got here is 31.5 kN meter. Now this triangle, uh, triangle is acting in downward direction so it will be again subtracted from this value which is 31.5. And this triangle value is same as this triangle. So the value of this triangle is 13.5 as well. 
and subtracting this 13.5 from this peak value which is 31.5 so that 31.5 minus 13.5 I again get the 18 so subtracting this triangle it will become in negative direction which is 18 which is the 18 value here again same is here is at this point and now this rectangle finding the area of this rectangle which is the 9 is the height and 3 and 2 is the width so 9 into 2 I got 18 but this is acting in downward direction so this should be also subtracted from this so 18 minus 18 it will become 0 so the bending moment diagram comes out to be 0 at the roller support so which is a true fit that the, bend, that the roller and hinge support cannot resist any moment hope you guys understand how to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for more civil engineering videos please subscribe our channel Thank you.